I was reading the New York Times the other day and came across a very small news brief that said that a human rights group had criticized Jordan for revoking the citizenship of nearly 3,000 Palestinians. Uh, the article asserted that this was because Jordan was concerned about the demographic balance between Jordanians and Palestinians. And in the ensuing days, I went to look and see if others in the media would pick this up. Uh, I looked far and wide in the U.S. and around the world and saw virtually nothing. I then checked the usual suspects who tend to claim their concern for the Palestinians. But there was nothing from the UN, there was nothing from the Arab League, there was nothing from the Organization of the Islamic Conference, there was nothing from the Non-Aligned Movement. Now just imagine for one single moment that instead of the word Jordan, the word Israel had appeared. Can you imagine the response? It would have been immediate. It would have been thunderous. It would have denounced Israel in no uncertain terms. But in this case, it was Arab on Arab and suddenly there was radio silence. There was radio silence from all of those campus groups that, that have tried to shut down Israelis speaking on campus uh, out of alleged solidarity with the Palestinians. Recent events at Cambridge University, Oxford University, the University of California at Irvine illustrate the point. So here's my question for those who really claim to have the best interests of the Palestinians in mind. Why is it there's always silence when it's Arabs inflicting harm on Palestinians and when it's Israel seeking to defend itself, which is accused of misdeeds, you are everywhere. I'd call it hypocrisy. And even worse, I'd call it a condescending attitude towards the Palestinians. If you really cared about the Palestinians, then you'd speak out whoever is accused of inflicting damage on them. I care. I care about peace. Yes, I'm an Israel advocate, but I care about peace, and I know that peace cannot be achieved unless both sides win. And both sides can't win as long as the pro-Palestinian movement is silent about these kinds of, of indignities imposed upon the Palestinian people.